What is your name, please? My name is Abdul Hafiz Kadar. What is your name, please? My name is Abdul Hafiz Kadar. What is your name, please? My name is Abdul Hafiz Kadar. Two of these people are imposters. Only one of them is the real Abdul Hafiz Kadar and is the only one sworn to tell the truth. Now, here is our host, Bud Collier. Thank you very much. Good evening. And welcome once again to To Tell the Truth, brought to you each week by Geritol, America's number one tonic, the high-potency tonic that helps you feel stronger fast. Now may I introduce our panel tonight. What is your name, please? My name is Polly Bergen. My name is Jim Backer. My name is Joan Fontaine. And my name is High Garden. <laughs> May I just say at the start what a great pleasure it is to welcome Miss Joan Fontaine to our panel tonight. Joan, welcome. Thank you. Hope you enjoy it, as I think you will. Now, these three gentlemen all claim to be, as you heard, Abdul Hafiz Kardar. Only one, of course, is the real Abdul Hafiz Kardar. The other two have merely assumed that identity, and they do not have to stick to the truth. Panel, you will find, of course, in front of you copies of an affidavit. Would you kindly follow along while I read from the original? I, Abdul Hafiz Kardar, an assistant advisor in the Ministry of Education for the Government of Pakistan. I am also a cricket player. Before partition, I was a member of the India Test Match cricket team and also played for Oxford University in England when I was a student there. The Pakistan cricket team is currently playing in the United States under the sponsorship of President Eisenhower's People to People Sports Committee. Since 1951, I've had the honor of being captain of the team. Signed, Abdul Hafiz Kardar. All right, panel, as you heard, these three gentlemen all claim to be Abdul Hafiz Kardar, captain of the Pakistan cricket team. Only the real Mr. Kardar is required to answer your questions truthfully. You will question each of you until you hear this signal. At the end of the questioning period, you will be asked to register your vote for the one who, in your opinion, is the real Mr. Kardar. And let's start tonight with Polly Burke. Polly? Thank you, bud. Number two, how do you spell your name? A-B-D-U-L-H-A-F-W-Z. K-A-R-D-A-R. -A -A Thank you. Um, <laughs> number one, uh, number one, how long is a cricket match? Oh, no. How long does it last? Oh, it usually could last six days. Six days? Six days. Do you play all day? We usually play start in the afternoon and we stop at 4 for tea. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, number uh, three, what are the Oxford colors? Oxford colors? The Oxford school colors. Uh, I don't remember. Did you? Number two, could you tell me? Dark blue. Uh, Jim Backus. Uh, uh, number three, what position do you play? Uh, square leg. Well, number one, how about you? Do you play round leg? I, uh, I play short leg. <laughs> <laughs> uh, number two, what was the score of your last game? We scored 183, and the local side got 74. Oh, I see. Four. A pitcher's battle. <laughs> <laughs> Number three, what is the expression, a sticky wicket? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Number two, what is the expression, sticky wicket? Anything that is difficult in life. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Philosophy. Joan Fontaine. Um, number one, I, I understand if you're a superior athlete in an English university, it has a particular name. What is that name? Magdalene? No, if you're an athlete, what is the name of the athlete? An expression for yes. athlete in an English university. Number two, do you know the answer to that question? Yeah. I haven't really understood the no. question. I'm sorry. For instance, if you're awfully good at either cricket or rowing or whatever it is, you are given a certain title that you're proud of for the rest of your life. What is it? A blue. Good. And uh, uh, number three, who is the Pakistan delegate to the UN? Ali Khan. 
And um, how many children does he have? About 16. <laughs> Good place for the bell. Hi, Gardner. Number three, he has 16? Yes. Is that cricket? <laughs> The uh, president is General Iskandar Mirza, and the uh, prime minister is Firuz uh, Khan uh, Noon, uh -huh. N O O N. Uh, number two, you've spent a lot of time at Oxford and in London. Uh, from what hotel can you see both the Waterloo Bridge and Big Ben? Well, I normally didn't stay in the hotel. Uh -huh. Number one, do you know the answer to that? That's it. Uh, I'm that's the vote the panel, hotel. so without. Oh, Excuse me. Uh, without consultation, will you mark your ballots and select number one, number two, or number three? Remember, please, the team of challengers will get $250 for every incorrect vote. Okay, panel. Polly, how about you? Did you vote? Well, I was so sure it was number three because his arms seem to be the biggest up there, you know. <laughs> But Looks he kept saying, I here. don't know, to everything, so I don't know. <laughs> but I thought it was the number two because he knew what a sticky wicket was, and I always sort of liked the, the phrase, sticky wicket. <laughs> Good sound reasoning, Polly. Uh, Jim Backus, your vote, please. Well, I uh, voted for number two uh, because he spelled his name so delightfully. And any fellow that can spell that name must be the person. <laughs> Joan Fontaine, your selection. Well, I voted for number two also, principally because he did know what a blue was. And hi, Gardner. Well, I guess I made it unanimous voting for number two, primarily on a hunch. He, uh, he sort of has assurance, and secondly, he looks like Victor Borgie. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, the votes are all in, and you've given us your reasons for voting the way you did. Let's see how well you folks at home are doing. I hope you're sort of voting right along with us there. We're about to find out which one of these three gentlemen is the real captain of the Pakistan cricket team. So now, will the real Abdul Hafiz Kardar please stand up? You sure started off well tonight, panel, believe me. One, two, three, four, right down the line. We got a 100% vote on that one. Thank you very much, sir. Number one, if you tell us who you really are and what you do. My name is Man Medina. I'm from Damascus, Syria, now the United Arab Republic. And uh, I have never been to Pakistan. <laughs> and uh, at present, I'm engaged in research and teaching here in the United States. Did you ever play cricket? No. <laughs> Number three. Never seen again. <laughs> Number three, who are you, sir, and what do you do? My name is Abdullah Mansour. I am a native of Tehran, Iran. I have never seen a cricket game in my life. <laughs> uh, I am here en route to the University of Southern California. Thank you, sir. <laughs> well, uh, yes, Polly. Uh, number two, do all people who, the men who go to Oxford, I know they have the Oxford blue, which is the color of suits, do they wear Oxford shoes? <laughs> Not particularly. I, I think I'll have to call that a sticky wicket, Polly, if you don't mind. <laughs> and tell you that inasmuch as they all voted correctly, that means no incorrect votes. So $150 is given by Geritol to be divided. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Hope you had fun. Good night. Good luck. What is your name, please? My name is Faye Snyder. What is your name, please? My name is Faye Snyder. What is your name, please? My name is Faye Snyder. All right, panel, once again, will you follow along with your copies of this affidavit? I, Faye Snyder, the daughter of a circus family, have been a circus performer myself since I was seven years old. I have performed as bareback rider, tight wire walker, trapeze artist, and have appeared in acts with horses, ponies, llamas, and elephants. I am currently appearing with Ringling Brothers Barnum and Bailey Circus with a dog act called Snyder's Boxers. Signed, Faye Snyder. <laughs> now, 
Now, panel, as you heard, these three ladies all claim to be Faye Snyder, circus performer. We'll begin this cross-examination round with Joan Fontaine. Joan, please. Um, what, uh, number one, what is an understander? An understander is one who takes your place when you're working with the animals just before you start. Leads them in. Uh, number two, um, how many rings has the Ringling Brothers Circus? Three. Uh, number three, what's going on in, in the other rings when you're on? A seal act in one ring and a dog act in the other. Um, what, uh, there's another term for an aerialist number three in circus parlance. What is that? For an aerial performer? Uh, number two, what is it? A flyer. Um, was it Al... Sorry, I got it. Number two, when you play Madison Square Garden, uh, I suppose the, the boxers live with you. Uh, what hotel will accept dogs? My boxers are maintained in the stadium. The stadium? Yes, in the garden. Oh, in the garden yes. itself, I see. Garden. Number one, what was uh, uh, Lillian Lightsell famous for? Lillian Lightsell was a famous high uh, type, uh, wire uh, flyer, and she worked with her husband. Uh huh. Number three, do you know who she was? She was an aerial performer. Uh-huh. Uh, number two, uh, I'd like to ask uh, if you know a, a knack to tell me the type of dogs used, the breed, uh, called uh, Don and his eight doggy friends. Would you know? I believe they are terriers or mixed breed. Animals. Would you know number one? I agree with number two. Uh -huh. Molly? Uh, <clears throat> number two, uh, spelling bee tonight. How do you spell llama? L-L-A-M-A. <laughs> Do you la la like working with the dogs? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> I love working with the dogs. <laughs> I couldn't resist. I've always wanted to do that. Well, so that ghastly piece of work is over. Uh, number three, uh, who, is, who is the very famous uh, 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 wife and husband clown act? I mean, they don't work together, but they're both... Mr. and Mrs. Felix Adler. Jim? Uh, number two, uh, where do you train in the wintertime? In Sarasota. Mm -hmm. Number one, are, are llamas hard to train? Well, they're very difficult. No matter how much you work with them, they, they bite and spit at you. It's a bit hay. Well, that's gratitude for you. <laughs> <laughs> number three, what is the act uh, called the shot out of the cannon, that famous act? Uh, that is the Zucchini Sisters. The Sakini sisters, uh-huh. Uh, number one, what does the expression mean in, in circus parlance, hey, rube? Well, that means help. <laughs> help. Oh. But I'm crying right now because it's time to vote, panel. So will you please mark your ballots and select thereby number one, number two, or number three. Have you marked your ballot, Polly? No. <laughs> will you? <laughs> oh. Who'd you vote for? <laughs> for whom did you vote? I would rather have you just take a choice because I... <laughs> I really... Oh, uh, you couldn't come back to me. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Uh, all right, all right. Oh, they're saying hurry. Um, um, uh, two. Thank you. Two is. But three, I'll right. never speak to you again. But I didn't do that. Jim back at home. Did you vote? I voted for number one because she looked like a real red hot llama. <laughs> <laughs> After that, Joan, I'm afraid to ask you whom you voted for. Well, I voted for number two because she seemed to know the questions a little bit better than anybody else. Okay, and hi, Gardner. Well, I voted for number three, Bud, because I asked number one and two about an act called Don and his eight doggy pals, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, I made up that act. <laughs> there we go again. Hide the seat. But we arrived at our answers, as we have indicated, so let's find out if yours agree with ours, as we discover right now which one of these two ladies is the real circus performer. So will the real Faye Snyder please stand up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Which three other... is on the bottom. Yeah, I see three. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's two is on top. <laughs> All right. Number one, would you tell us who you really are and what you do, please? 
My name is Irene Weissman. I am publicity director for Coral and Von Dome Jewelry. <laughs> and number two, what about you, please? My name is Fran Basinger. I am the New York representative for Darius Media Service. We are a national newspaper mat syndicate. Well, ladies, as you check up and see, there are exactly three incorrect votes at $250 each for a total of $750. And Jarrett Hall, divided, enjoy it. Thank you for being with us. Good night and good luck. <laughs> Face some more people, shall we? Let's have our next team of challengers, please. <laughs> What is your name, please? My name is Texas Joe Foster. <laughs> what is your name, please? My name is Texas Joe Foster. What is your name, please? My name is Texas Joe Foster. May I direct your attention once again, panel, to your copies of this affidavit. I, Texas Joe Foster, am the son of a Texas Ranger who was killed by dope peddlers when I was seven years old. I decided to go into police work when I grew up, and at 25, upon my graduation from the Houston Police Academy, I was loaned to the Federal Narcotics Bureau. They gave me a Cadillac convertible and plenty of money and planted me in a high school. With a switch knife and a hoodlum attitude, I soon took over the school. Through some of my fellow students, I was brought in touch with the gangsters and dope pushers the government was after. And as a result of my undercover work, more than 100 criminals were placed under indictment. My story is soon to be released as an MGM motion picture. Signed, Texas Joe Foster. <laughs> I'm sure you've heard me say that uh, a few members of our studio audience each week are given an opportunity to uh, match wits with our panel, and if they vote correctly, they win cash prizes. So if you'd like to come and see one of our broadcasts, why, write for tickets, if you will, specifying the number you want, the dates you want to come, send your request to, to tell the truth, tickets, CBS Television, 485 Madison Avenue, New York, 22, New York. Be sure you write that word tickets on the envelope for prompt handling. All right, panel, these three gentlemen all claim to be Texas Joe Foster, former undercover agent. I will begin this round with Jim Backus. Jim? Uh, it says in the affidavit that you went into police work. What is the uh, sentence, number one? What is the sentence for selling narcotics? The minimum sentence? Yes. From five to ten years. Five to ten years. Uh, number two, what in uh, juvenile delinquent terms is the game chicken? Well, that's being scared, being a coward, not wanting to go through with something. Num number three, what is the game of chicken? That's when you're driving on a highway or a road and the first one to veer off is called chicken. I was in rebel without a cause, I know. Uh, <laughs> num number one, what is a, a zip gun? That's a homemade gun, a wooden handle and a piece of pipe, and they use a nail to set the show on. Uh, number two, where is the Hospital for Rehabilitation of Narcotic Addicts located? How about that? <laughs> oh, we have another one. We have one in Kansas. We have one in Texas, Siegelville. Num Joan? Uh, number three, I see that you uh, had your script, your story bought by MGM. Did you go out there when it was bought? No, we did it over uh, a cup of coffee here in, uh, in Houston, rather. Who were we? Uh, the writer, the producer, the director. Who are they? Well, uh, Al Sug Smith is the producer. Uh, Frank uh, Arnold is the director. Uh, number two, do you know who the uh, story editor of MGM is? No, I sure don't. <laughs> uh, Lou Meltzer wrote the story, and that, that's when I talked to him. I see. I noticed... Hi, Gardner. Number one, what senator, now a governor, was the head of the senatorial committee to investigate narcotics addicts and so forth? Uh, the governor now, mm -hmm. Price Daniel. Uh, number two, uh, do you know a fellow by the name of George White? George White's uh, agriculture commissioner from uh, Wichita Falls. Uh, number one, do you know George White? Supervisor of narcotics. Uh -huh. Number three, what newspaper in Texas is owned by Mrs. or better called Hoppy? Uh, the Houston Post. Houston Post. Number three, uh, what is a dope sheet? A dope sheet? That's a racetrack. Uh -huh. <laughs> Number two, uh, <laughs> is it, is it, is it, uh, 
right, it is. <laughs> always, always leaves them laughing. <laughs> Polly? It's either number three or he leads a very rough life. <laughs> <laughs> is that your vote, Polly? No. Oh. Uh, Texas, I'll change it, Bugs, before the it's over. I'll be sorry. Number one, uh, number one uh, t Texas, they call you. Uh, where are you from? Oklahoma. <laughs> I figured something like this would happen because they always do that to us. Uh, why, why do they call you Texas? Then? I was christened Texas. Oh, I see. You were christened in Texas. On my birth uh, I beg your pardon. It's on the birth certificate. It actually is his name. Oh. Not a nickname. Oh, really? Oh, I didn't know anybody ever had a real name. Oh, well, anyway, two. No, wait, wait, wait. wait. Hurry up, quick. Uh, Come on. Uh, two, uh, oh, sorry, Cat. Time to <laughs> march your ballot panel. <laughs> oh, I'm going to hear from this. I can. <laughs> And vote for number one, number two, or number three. Now, Polly, make it clear this time. Which one is it? Well, I voted for number three because, I don't know, he has a sort of a, a tall, strong takeover look about him. You know, I think he could <laughs> run a gang. He's also very cute, I think. <laughs> Jim Baggins, what's your vote, please? Well, I voted for number, number well, three I because... I think he's cute, too. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, really, he knew Al Zugsmith, who I worked with in a picture, and you had the name wrong. It's Jack Arnold, but anyway, you know what you're talking about. Well, now you got number three as red as a beet. For whom did you vote, John? I voted for number three because if they planted him near high school when he was 25, he'd have to look terribly, terribly young, and he still does. Just uh -huh. look at $25. So I imagine that's who it is. All right, and hi, Gardner. Yours well, I go along with, with uh, everybody else here. Oh, I think unanimous. he's cute, but there's too much competition. <laughs> so I voted for number one. <laughs> and my reason for voting for number one, he knew Price Daniel was the head of, head of the Narcotics Commission, and also mm -hmm. that uh, George White is one of our top agents. Well, you, pulled, reason? you pulled a switch knife. No, that's enough. Okay, we've given our reasons now for the selections that our panel have given. Let's see what yours are, and if they're as good as we discover which one of these gentlemen is the real former undercover agent. So, will the real Texas Joe Foster please stand up? Hi. <laughs> 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 I think you were coasting on the success of that first round there, panel, when you got 100%. Now, number two, would you tell us who you really are and what you do? My name is Gus Salai, and I'm a fertilizer salesman. <laughs> <laughs> He's a fertilizer salesman, is what he said. And number three, you got all the votes. How about you? Who are you? My name is Kyle Rote, and I play professional football with the New York Giants. <laughs> You can see there were three incorrect votes at $250 each for a total of $750 in Geritol. Hope you gentlemen had fun. We did. Good night and good luck. Well, that's all the time we have for tonight, panel, except to remind everybody to watch the Polly Bergen Show on Saturday night. Thank you, bud. And also to tell you, Joan Fontaine, what a pleasure it was having you with us. Hope you had fun. Come back to see us again. And uh, good night, panel. Good, good night, night, bud. I want to remind all of you folks watching to stay tuned over most of these CBS stations a little later when a group of Red Skelton's good friends will be doing his show for him. Now this is Bud Collier saying good night from Geritol and reminding you to tell the truth. Good night, everybody. <laughs> to tell the truth is the Mark Goodson, Bill Cobden production in association with the CBS Television Network. Miss Bergen's Down by Wilma.